by one. And we start off with the standard, where we have the standard headline is positions harden. And there's a picture there, as you can see, of uh, what was happening in different parts of uh, the country yesterday. I believe this is specifically Nairobi, where the uh, NASA supporters basically were going to march and go to the IEBC uh, headquarters, which is at Anniversary Towers or their offices, to um, get their voice heard for the removal of some of the officials for the alleged bungling of the election. So positions hardened, uh, William Oketch. Looking at things, do you see negotiations taking place? Again, bearing in mind, today is the day that IEBC has invited both principals from NASA and Jubilee to come and have a sit down and hopefully map a way forward. Uh, well, the two opposing sides, are, they are diametrically different in their demands. Mm. The opposition, NASA, is very firm in what they have called the irreducible minimums. Uh, the ones, some certain officials who are cited, especially in the Secretariat, headed by CEO Ezra Chiloba to step aside. Uh, some of the unit heads, uh, such as Immaculate Kasait, uh, um, the legal officer, James Muhaiti, ICT. So this is what they are calling as irreducible minimums. Correct. Uh, the Jubilee side on the other uh, end have this strong argument that wait, uh, what is the hula ball all about? The Supreme Court actually uh, absolved these officers whom you, are, you, are, you want to step out of office. They were absolved because in its judgment, majority judgment, the Supreme Court said that actually they could not pinpoint specifically to any instances of criminal acts right. to be assigned to any officer. But really, when you look depthly into the issues, what uh, NASA is saying, they are calling out for more or less a fundamental uh, restructure of how election results are being mm -hmm. managed and then transmitted. Mm -hmm. On the other side, you have uh, Jubilee, which says uh, this was an order of the Supreme Court. The time frame is very limited. And uh, it's now very difficult because being that now NASA has not come out categorically to accept the invite from IBC. For the, In fact, I think there was a statement yes. stating that they will actually not go. Yes, they had a demand. They say that before giving a commitment whether or not we're going to attend, mm -hmm. we want to know what is the agenda, specifically if some of our concerns are on the table, so that it does not turn up that this is a PR exercise. Mm -hmm. So still, uh, the two bulls are still, their horns are still locked together, no white smoke as it is. And uh, that's even why you'll see the clergy have called out for negotiations and prayers and all that for the two parts to engage. To engage. Now, yeah. evidently, we may not make much progress as we only have 28 days if we do not have the two sit down and uh, at least make some amends. It looks, uh, given the, the demands that each side has, there has to be uh, some concession. There has to be some agreement. There has to be some seeding ground of some kind. Do you foresee this happening? Certainly. So it has ever happened before. We have had I IPPG which happened just uh, before the 1997 elections. Mm. Uh, we have had the Interparliamentary Committee just before the August 8th elections, which met. Mm -hmm. They deliberated some minimum amendments to the elections law, mm -hmm. and this one happened. But still, all that is needed is for the two heads of the two political coalitions to whip their forces together. In the papers, if you read, uh, Jubilee is even proposing to go to Parliament and amend some sections all of the law. Right, before uh, the, the, the Yes, election. so you find that that will be very controversial. It will even further apart, uh, uh, increase the differences. Mm. So I think the honors now falls on the two principles, mm -hmm. uh, the President Uhuru Kenyatta and NASA leader Raila Odinga, to actually whip their forces back in line and say, wait, Ultimately, there is always, despite the political competition, there is always the national interest. Okay, because we have true. elections in a few days. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, that uh, story you've mentioned is actually on 